Do you like traveling? Then this lesson is for you because we're going to go to the airport. Hello, my name is Matty from POC English and in this lesson we're going to talk about English at the airport. I've divided this lesson into four different parts. In each part we will learn some vocabulary and you will see some dialogues. So make sure you watch this lesson to the end. Part 1. Things to know before going to the airport. The first word we need to learn is departure. Departure means to leave. The act of leaving a place in order to go on a trip. That is departure. Now, when you book a ticket, when you're buying a ticket either by phone or online or physically at the travels agent, you decide your departure date. The date in which you want to leave. That is departure. Now, on the day of departure, you have to... The plane. What do you do to the plane? You jump in a plane? No, you open the door? No, you don't open the door. But what do you do? You get on the plane or you board the plane. So two verbs, get on the plane or board the plane. And when do you do that? On your departure day. Now, there are different types of flights that you may want to book a ticket for. We have domestic flight, domestic flight. A domestic flight is a flight within your country. I am here in Italy. A domestic flight would go to Rome would go to Milan, where I already am. So it's not going to go and turn around and come here and land again. No, uh, it would go to the southern part of Italy. So it will not leave the country. That is a domestic flight, a flight within the borders of the country. But the opposite is an international flight or an overseas flight, a flight across the borders to another country or to another continent. Now, sometimes you want to go to a far off destination and there are no direct flights. So you have to go to one city and then from that city, you catch another plane and go to another city. That second flight that you have to take in order to get to your destination is called a connecting flight or a transit flight. Connecting flight, transit flight, which is your second flight when you want to go to a destination. In this case, instead of directly going to your destination, you go to another city and in that city, you have a layover or a stopover. A stopover or a layover basically means you have to stay there for a while until you catch your connecting flight. So you will have a stopover in another city. Now, when buying a ticket, you can either choose to have a first class flight or a business class flight, or an economy class flight. Well, the first class is the most expensive. The business class is also expensive, but they offer more amenities. The first class and the business class are at the front of the plane. So usually you have more leg space, the chairs are bigger, the seats are wider, and that you will feel less movement, which is turbulent, and we will talk about it later. But the economy class is the cheapest. And it's usually in the main body of the plane with less leg space. Now, sometimes before your departure date, you might want to call the airline so as to confirm your tickets and confirm your flights, because usually there may be delays. You want to make sure if there are no delays and everything is on schedule. So you call the airline. Let me show you a dialogue. POC Airlines, how may I help? Oh, hello, I would like to confirm my flight. Can I get your ticket number, please? Sure, the number is 45643. Let me see. Hmm. You are planned to depart on June 15th at 1 p.m. Is this correct? Yes, yes, it's correct. Is anyone else traveling with you? Yes, my wife. Can I have the other ticket number, please? Uh, let me see. It's 45644. Okay. Your tickets have been confirmed. Please arrive at the airport three hours before your flight departs. Thank you for calling. Part 2. At the airport. When you arrive at the airport, there are a few places you have to go and some things you need to do. The first place you need to go to is the check-in desk, where you will show your ticket, your ID documents, and you will have to check in your luggage. In the check-in desk, they may ask you to put your luggage on the scale if you have luggage. What is the scale? 
The scale basically shows how heavy your luggage is. So you put your luggage on the scale and it shows, for example, 20 kilograms. That's okay, that's acceptable, go on. Now, the next word is boarding. Now, as I told you before, you will either get on the plane or board the plane. When the plane is boarding, that means people are getting on the plane. So you have to go, you have to run, you have to board the plane. But in order to board the plane, you need something. What do you need? A ticket? No. You need something which is called a boarding pass. Boarding pass. But where do you get your boarding pass? From the check-in desk. You check in your luggage, you show your ID, and you get your boarding pass. And then you go and board the plane. While you are talking to the person in charge of the check-in desk, you may be able to ask for two types of seats, either a window seat or an aisle seat. Of course, if you haven't previously selected your seat, a window seat is a seat by the window on the plane. An aisle seat is a seat by the aisle. Pay attention, it's aisle, it's not aisle, no. It's the aisle, the corridor, the place where people walk. Now, which do you prefer, the window seat or the aisle seat? I prefer the window seat because you can look outside. But hey, some people like the aisle seat. In any case, let me show you a dialogue at the check-in desk. Good afternoon, where are you flying to? Uh, Los Angeles. May I have your passport, please? Sure. Uh here you go. Are you checking any bags? Uh, just this one. Okay, please place your luggage on the scale. I have a stopover in Chicago. Do I need to pick up my luggage there? Uh, no, it'll go straight through to Los Angeles. And one more thing. Can I get a window seat? Let me check if we have any available. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Okay. Here's your boarding pass. Your flight will leave from gate 15A. It will begin boarding at 3.20. The next step is to go through security check. It is a place where some people will check your luggage and you yourself with X-ray just to make sure that you don't have anything dangerous. Now, let's see a dialogue at the security check. Please lay your luggage on the conveyor belt and use the baskets for smaller objects. Do I need to take my laptop out of the bag? Yes, you do. Please take off your hat and your shoes too. Please step back. Uh, do you have anything in your pockets? Keys, cell phone, some loose change? No. No. I don't think so. Uh, let me take off my belt. Okay, come on through. And after the security check, you will have to go through customs. If you are on an international flight. But what is customs? Customs is the place where international passengers will have to go before entering the next country. They will be checked if they have any illegal items. And basically, if you are moving any products from one country to another country, those products will have to be checked if they are not for personal use. That is what happens at the customs. Part three, on the plane. Now you are on the plane and you will see the cabin crew. Cabin crew are all the people on the plane who are not passengers. That includes flight attendants. A flight attendant is a person who takes care of the passengers. They answer to their questions, to their requests, and they offer food and drinks. Nothing special happens on the plane, so you just have to sit and wait patiently until you arrive at your destination. But on some flights, they may offer food and drinks. Let me show you a dialogue. All right, sir, chicken or meat? Mm, chicken, wrong, it's meat. Huh? Just kidding, here you are, thanks. Anything to drink? What kind of sodas do you have? We have Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, Orange, and Dr. Pepper. Mm, Diet Coke, please, no ice. Okay, here you go. Now, sometimes during the flight, the airplane will go like this, which is really frightening for me. It terrifies me. That basically is turbulence. Turbulence, I'm sure you've heard of it. Turbulence is the movements of a plane because of the resistance of air, I think, I don't know. But the plane basically moves and that is called turbulence. It's not dangerous, but to me, it's frightening. And eventually your plane will land. To land means to touch the ground and you arrive at your destination. Part four at your destination. You have safely arrived at your destination. Now, after landing, what should you do? 
Of course, you exit the plane and then you will go to the baggage claim. The baggage claim is a conveyor belt with all the baggages, with all the suitcases on top of it. You will have to wait there until you see and spot your luggage and you pick it up. That is the baggage claim. And finally, if you are an international passenger and you have traveled with your passport, you will need to go through passport control where the police will check your passport, stamps it and welcomes you to the country. That's it guys, you have safely arrived at your destination. In this lesson, I try to touch the main points, the main aspects of what may happen in an airport if you want to speak in English. So practice it. And before I forget, let me tell you something. Do you want to have the summary of this lesson and all other lessons I have on YouTube in a single PDF file for free? You can download my 400 page English book. This book is entirely free for my YouTube subscribers. How can you get it? Simply click on the link above my head, go to my website, type in your name, your email address, and click subscribe. Also, if you want to support me and support my work, you can become a POC member. There are two membership plans, POC Crew and POC Elite. To become a member, you can click on the link above my head. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe if you're new to my channel. See ya.